Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back. It's Super the Techno Boy, and in this video, I'm gonna review this uh, Samsung J7 Pro mobile phone, which uh, you have seen before in the unboxing video. And uh, I have been using this for uh, more than four months, I think. So I'm gonna review this now, and I'm gonna tell you my experience and uh, about what I like and don't like about this phone. But uh, I need to tell you one thing: this is a very hardy phone. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the looks. All uh, right, at the top, you get the Samsung logo here, and above that, the earpiece. And here is the camera 13 megapixel front camera. And on this side, you get the sensor and the LED flashlight. And at the bottom, you get uh, the home button here and these two are the soft touch buttons uh, from menu and the back button so this is the manual button uh, which also has the fingerprint scanner inbuilt so that's it and uh, on right side you get the power button and the loudspeaker here and nothing else and on the left side you get the volume up and down buttons and two sim trays. Okay, let me focus on that. Okay. Well, this is the small sim tray you can see, uh, which is for sim number one, and this bigger one for sim number two, and also the micro SD card. Yeah, let me open that. This is the one, a uh, smaller one for uh, SIM 1, which I have to add to the SIM. Put it back inside. And the other one, so SIM 2. You can see it's written here SIM 2, and here the micro SD card. So it has a dedicated micro SD card slot, which is very nice. Back in. Okay, and at the back, at the top, you get this uh, design, which is an antenna for Wi-Fi. And at the bottom, this is the antenna for GSM thing. And here you get the nice shiny Samsung logo. And this is a 13 megapixel camera, rear camera with the LED flashlight. And the body is. I say a complete metal body uh, which is very hard and at the front you get a 2.5 D uh, Gorilla Glass 4 which is also very hard that's why I'm not using any screen protector on it and uh, let me tell you one more thing this uh, phone has fall down from my hand once and nothing happened on this concrete floor and nothing happened at all, no scratch, no mark, no nothing. So this is a very hardy phone and uh, that's it pretty much. Uh, the looks is very nice and it looks so premium, uh, especially on this black one. And it's also feel good to hold, but a bit slippery because of this uh, metal construction body so you can use a back cover but back cover will hide this uh, nice design of this mobile so that's it that's your choice i'm not using anything and uh, now let me turn it on and let's take a look Okay, here it is. So first of all, let's check the fingerprint scanner, which is uh, here uh, inside this button. So 
so let's check it out. Yeah, nice. Well, it's uh, pretty responsive, but uh, and also fast, but sometimes it uh, takes more than a second. Yeah, it happens sometimes, but the uh, rest of the times is nice, and you can see uh, the display. There is no lagging in it. Okay, now about the display. It's uh, a 5.5 inch Full HD display uh, with the narrow bezels on both this side. And this is a Full HD, so you can watch YouTube videos at 1080p, uh, which is very nice. And as this is a Super AMOLED display, the display is really good and uh, what can I tell you in one word the display is awesome and it has a octopod processor uh, 3 GB of RAM and 64 GB and this is a 64 GB variant so you can check all the specs over right over here okay here you get all the important stuff uh, there is the blue light filter you press that and the screen becomes a bit yellowish uh, so when you're using it for a long time you can just that blue light filter and turn it off now okay and you also got a secure folder you can hide your uh, apps and games or whatever your files this is the torch and also on the next page you get the NFC which I didn't use till now and here is the button for always display always on display it is on now so when you turn it off you get this display and uh, if you turn it off then you'll not get that display but I want that display because this is very nice and this doesn't even train much battery and also you get the smart view which you can connect your mobile to a smart TV and okay, that's it uh, this is the setting here are the advanced features and you get the device maintenance and here you can easily optimize your device by pressing one button and also you can check the storage and also you can check the memory and you can clean it So this is a nice thing. It comes with the uh, Android Nougat. Here it is. All right, and the nice thing about uh, this uh, Samsung user interface is this has a middle, which uh, if you swipe upwards, this will come. This is the menu where you can keep all your. Uh, apps and files all the things and this is the desktop where you can keep only the necessary things which you uh, use more often so this is a nice thing i like about the samsung e user interface and you know let's check the back camera See the picture. It's pretty nice. This thing doesn't have any EIS or OIS, so it's gonna be a little bit uh, steady to take pictures, nice pictures, especially for the front camera. You get a bit more steady to get a clear, nice picture selfies. 
So now we will see some uh, shots taken with the front camera and the back camera. Uh, let's check that out. Alright, this is the video I'm shooting in the front camera and in the artificial light in my room, just only one tube light is on. So you can see how it is. It's pretty clear and uh, bright enough, I think. Okay, this is the back camera, showing the back camera in the same environment and you can see the focusing and can see the brightness Alright, so that's pretty much all of it and uh, I really like this phone very much and if you ask me about the counts of it, so first of all, this thing uh, don't have this button, these two buttons don't light up and they don't have the haptic feedback and also you don't get any notification LED light. Well, you don't even need that because whatever notification you get, the calls, the SMS, WhatsApp, whatever it is, will get here right below this uh, time. Uh, this display always stays on. If you keep that on, it will not drain the battery much. Very minimal. You, it's just nothing. So uh, all the notification you'll get here on the screen, you can see that anytime without pressing any buttons. So you need that notification lights, and so that what you get is 
uh, strong metal body and 2.5D Gorilla Glass 4 which is very nice that's why I'm not using any protection uh, screen guard anything like that and uh, we cannot paint this it's very hard so uh, it has looks the performance and the quality so you get all of this in this phone and the price is also okay which was uh, 18,990 when I bought this one and uh, that's okay and uh, well, let me tell you that Samsung is an international renowned brand uh, which is the only competitor of the iPhone, iPhone keep an eye on Samsung only uh, and uh, so you cannot compare this Samsung with the other Chinese brands uh, for the price range so it gave what it paid for that's what it is. Alright, so hope this video was helpful to all of you. And uh, that's all for today. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.